Hello, everyone. Hi, I am live. You, if you can hear me, please type I can, you know, so that I know that you can hear me. And in the meantime, let me also double check my Facebook page as well as the All Star Facebook group and see whether everybody can hear me or not. How's your, uh, how's your day so far? Did you have an amazing day? Okay, I hope you all of you had an amazing day and going to have even more amazing day ahead, all right? So let me just double check, is everything okay? If you can hear me, please type in a comment section so that I can start um, to make sure everybody can hear my voice loud and clear, all right? Hello, yes. everyone. Okay, I can hear myself clearly. So I believe uh, you guys should be able to hear me clearly as well. All right, so today I'm going to share with you like uh, every, actually this is like the first series, uh, first series for uh, psychology of sales. In the past, I was doing psychology of influence, but uh, we really want to make it to be uh, like sales targeted because I believe a lot of you guys are like business owners. A lot of you are pro probably like doing sales. So that's why this series will be very, very useful if you are looking to increase your sales, increase your influence, as well as uh, get more customers to your business. Loud and clear. Thanks so much. All right. So in today's sharing, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can attract more and more loyal customers to your business all right and it's very very interesting and this psychology of influence which is like the the sales psychology right i'm going to share with you today if you know how to use it and implement it into your business or whatever sales strategies that uh, your company or you yourself implement right it's going to be so so powerful and before i go into uh what what the whole principle is about, I want to share some real case study. And from real case study, you will get to understand why is it so powerful. And let's start with our everyday life, okay? Uh, I'm not sure whether you guys have been to uh, this place, Shake Shack, okay? If you have, hi, Wendy. If you have uh, been to Shake Shack before at uh, Jewel, all right? Let me know and uh, how's the food and everything. I've never been there uh, because when I want to go, uh, CD is, is here, I, I couldn't really go. But I know that Shake Shack was so popular and it attracted so many people. If I've been there, let me know whether is the food really that good, okay? But just by judging on the picture itself, if you have not tasted it before, okay, for example, you are like me, you have never been there before, would you be attracted to go? You know, if you are attracted to go, let me know. Uh, type interested in if you are interested to go and taste the food because I can see wow there's so many people queuing and inside the store it's also full of people I am very interested in exactly what is the food you know what what makes people to be so interested to queue there for I think at least an hour or more just to get that hamburger all right uh interested in okay fantastic the burgers are nice okay uh hong rei been there before fresh burger wendy also ate before fresh burger okay okay wow but do you know that this is something that you know like uh, uh I'm, I'm pretty sure that the food is good that's why you guys been there and you testify that the burger is good and on top of that apart from you the two testimonial that you guys just gave right so many people standing here queuing are the living testimonials of how good the restaurant is, right? And actually, a lot of times, right, or Shake Shack is like real crowd, seriously real crowd. But sometimes if you go to certain restaurants or maybe when you are oh, not very interested <laughs> because see the crowd, see, Michael, see the crowd also sian. I don't want to waste time. <laughs> I don't want to waste time to, to go and bother to queue. But if you have the time to go, especially, I'm not sure when, when, when you guys traveling, right, when COVID is over or before COVID hit in, right, when you go to overseas, would you always go and purposely find a place that is recommended either on tour, tour travel guide book or maybe on the internet? People say, it's very good and you must try. Then you will go, right? Then on top of that, because so many people recommended this place, when you go there, wow, you also see, wow, the, the store is so full. It's packed with people. Should I queue or not, you know? And, and I, I, I myself was a victim. I in, eventually, you know, when I was traveling to Korea, uh, they always say that, wow, this ginseng place, uh, the chicken with the ginseng inside, very nice. Then when my family went there, we have to queue for an hour, but we queue it. Even though we know that, wow, well, our whole day, uh, by rush to be traveling, moving around. But since we are already in Korea, right? Since everybody is says it's nice, right? And since the queue is also so long, right? It must be good. Then we went to queue for an hour. 
but eventually I really find the food to be so so. So, so like this psychology of uh, Q, actually it's a powerful concept of what we are going to introduce today, which is about social proof, all right? So if you are running a restaurant, doesn't matter actually, or your, your food must be good like, so that you can attract more and more people. But actually, even though your food may not be super good, as long as you can always create this constant queue outside of your restaurant, people will come because people are just drawn by this concept called social proof. It seems so many people are queuing, I must also queue up to see whether is it good or not. So that is the psychology that uh, we are delving into today. Social proof, super powerful. It's a concept that people will follow the action of others, especially when the others are a large group of people, right? Just like Shake Shack just now, there's so many people already queuing. Whoa. I better go and try and find out, is it really that good? I better go and queue up first, right? So because a lot of time, like uh, in our everyday life, we are very, like we need to make so many decisions. But when you make decisions, you really need to think and pause and consider this, consider that. Eventually, you come up with a decision. It's very tiring, right? Because every day we have to make too many decisions. It's very time consuming to really have to go through the whole thinking process in order to come up with that decision. Why not? We just follow others, right? Since they are doing it, hey, it must be, hey, then we will think, hey, since other people are doing it, it must be a sound decision. That's why they are doing it, right? So exactly that is the power of social, social proof. And we humans in general uh, have this, um, sad to say, like, sometimes we do have this hurt mentality, okay? If you <laughs> hire actors to queue up, yeah? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I do believe uh, some restaurants definitely, especially during the grand opening and stuff, right? They do hire people or they invite a lot of people to come in to taste their food for free. That's how they create the happening scene and everything. And that's how they also attracted other people to come. So yeah, just like the stock. <laughs> okay, can say just like a stock market uptrend right now because everybody buying now, everybody go to buy. Okay, yeah, herd mentality, social proof, right? So the idea is if people behave in certain way, it must be the correct behavior. And that's why we uh, as social people, we like to follow other people's decisions. So I think it's very important through this learning series, you know, after learning through all these different webinars, start to think about like how you can implement it on yourself, on your business. But at the same time, if you are already falling prey to certain things that are unethical, sometimes this sales principle is so powerful, right? They can be used by uh, some like cunning people unethically sometimes, right? So you have to be start aware of, uh, be aware of what kind of uh, uh, social influence, psychology principles that they are using to get customers to buy. Okay? If it's a good product, good value, fantastic, then go ahead. But if it's a bad thing, especially scams or pyramid scheme, then you really have to be careful because they are so good at using these principles, all right? So let me just give you some more additional case studies that has proven that, hey, social proof really works, you know, on human beings, right? So this case study was actually done very long time ago, 1951, okay, done by these uh, uh, psychologists called Solomon Ask. Okay, I don't really know how to pronounce uh, uh, Ask, uh, Ask, okay, maybe Solomon, Solomon. <laughs> so Solomon, he, he wanted to test out whether are people really likely to conform to the choice of the majority. Remember, social proof is about other people, the majority, the decision, right? So how likely are we as individual to conform with the decision made by the majority? So he did up this very simple test, okay? On one piece of paper, this is the line, all right? And the other piece of paper got three lines, right? So right away, uh, if without going through the experiment, can you tell which line, okay, on the left, the paper is matching on the right hand side okay a b or c so the paper on the left hand side exactly which line does it match on the right hand side okay you guys can type out your answers yeah let me know whether uh, your eyes your eyes can see right away which line does it match not because it's very obvious right so what he did was he did something very interesting because he wants to see how other people's decision will affect your decision making process okay what he did was uh he basically divided uh, different experiments, okay, into different groups, right? So in one group, there are always eight people, 
right? So one group have eight people, C, all right? Yeah, C, okay, very, very obvious C, right? Okay, then, but something I'm going to share with you later, very, very surprising, okay? These eight, eight people, yeah? Seven, one, seven out of them, uh, out of them, seven are basically actors, okay? They are actors. And only one person is a participant. So as an actor, you are the, basically the psychologist ask them to act in certain way, to say decisions, say out their answers in different ways, lah, right? So seven people agree beforehand. They say, oh yeah, I will say B, oh, I will say A, something like that. Then the only participant that was being tested, they didn't know about other people's decision. Basically, they will just ask to join this group and, and come up with the answer eventually, right? So each one of them will be asked to give the answer and the person being tested, will always give out the answer at the last. So the person will hear all the other people's decision already, all the people's answer already, then he or she will give out his or her answer. Okay, that's how it works. And totally there are 18 trials. Okay, so in total there are 18 groups. So 18 out, out of 18 groups, right? 12 groups were, were given, were asked to be giving the wrong answer. All right. So imagine you are you are one of the twelve group lah. So uh, you are the only one being tested there. The rest of your peers, right, all say the wrong answer. So twelve twelve such scenarios happen. Then the remaining six groups of people are, are just giving out the correct answer lah. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm not sure why got so many planes flying out. I'm just going to close the window. Okay. So I hope it's clearer right now. So now. What's going to happen is, uh, yeah, so these psychologists, what, uh, Solomon want to test out, hey, so if I have 12 groups of people giving the wrong answer, how likely is the person being tested, okay, that 12 person being tested in the 12 groups likely to give the wrong answer, okay, even though the correct answer is very obvious, uh, right away, you can tell it's C, right? So after that, you guys can make a guess or not. Make a guess how many percent of people of the real participant being tested in the in the 12 groups which were the majority giving the wrong answer right uh how likely are they to also give the wrong answer okay very interesting can hear me loud and clear thanks wendy all right so uh can you give me a percentage because right away we can tell uh the the right slip of the paper c is the correct answer okay if you are uh, your eyes have nothing wrong okay all clear vision everything right right well you can tell it's answer c right but all of other people in your group uh, they are all giving the wrong answer hey i think it's a no no i think it's b so you are the only person at the end asked to give out the answer when all the other people in front of you the seven of one uh, seven of them all give the wrong answer so how likely do you think you are going to choose the right answer okay eventually show you something very very interesting eventually right this professor uh this psychologist right he compared this 12 group of students a 12 group of people who are inside the wrong group and then as well as the six group or uh, six groups of people inside the correct answer group yeah eventually 75 percent inside the wrong answer group give the wrong answer Okay, 75% of them give the wrong answer as compared to, yeah, very close. Yeah, very close. 70%, 70%, very close. As compared to only 1%, okay, this person probably has, has caught eye or something. <laughs> this 1% of person in the correct answer group gave the wrong answer. So what does the correct answer group mean? The correct answer group means this group of people all give C. Yeah, C is the correct answer. C is the correct answer. So seven of them all say that C is the correct answer, right? Then this person very likely because everybody says C, right? Uh, with, 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 with clear eyes, I also believe it's C, so I also say C. But only 1% of the person make wrong, right? While the other groups are, even though it's very obvious, 75% of them gave the wrong answer. And after that, they uh, the, basically the psychologist Solomon went ahead to interview these people who were belonging to the wrong group. And they asked them, why do you give the wrong answer? Okay, and basically they all say that, hey, because I want to fit into the group. Some of them know that C is the correct answer, yeah? They, they, they kind of right away can, can tell it's C, right? but eventually when you see everybody giving different answers, you start to doubt about your decision. You start to think, hey, maybe they are correct. Huh? Maybe my eyes really something wrong. Maybe it's not C, maybe it should be A, right? And they also believe that the group decision is more better informed than they are. 
And that's why eventually they decided to pick the other A and B rather than C, right? So that is the power of social proof. Okay, and, and sometimes it, it may not be the right, it may not be the correct answer, but because everybody do it, everybody does the same thing, you believe it's correct, right? So that's why if you know how to tap into this power of social proof into your business, right, it's really going to transform how your business is going to scale, how your business is going to attract customers and everything, because we humans are just natural tendency to follow other people's recommendation and other people's decision, especially it has been proven that many other people have been doing it, right? So the numbers, the number game really, really work. <laughs> All you need to do is know how to leverage on that, okay? So now it's going to more step-by-step -step guidance in terms of how you can use business in your social proof to increase your sales, increase number of people coming to you, coming to your service and everything, all right? So this first one is, I think both of you guys also know this, right? Display review, right? And why is review important? I think after explaining social proof, it's very, very clear cut because other people have been leaving review on your product so many other people have also left positive feedback on your product or your service, then you must be good, right? Social proof, very simple, right? So all you need to do, right, is start asking and really start gathering uh, testimonials from your customers, from your clients, and really put it into public place that people can see. Because if you keep it in a shelf or hide it in the computer, nobody is going to see it. You have to put it on the internet, have to put it on your website and everything, right? So, uh, and, and according to statistics, 77% of uh, people, whenever they want to buy something online, they will definitely go and check out review, right? Because we humans like to see what are people thinking? What are people saying before making our decision? Okay, it, it reinforces our decision, right? So that's why uh, if you display reviews, re display testimonials on your on your website or whatsoever, it's going to be so, so helpful. It really gives other customers who are on the fence of buying or not the confidence to click the buy button. All right, so I'm just going to uh, share with you some of the, the funnel hacking to, to our company, okay? So because our company also does a lot of uh, education, so we do sell courses online and everything, right? So how do we attract people to come to our page or how do we attract more people to come to learn from us, right? So this is the funnel hacking process that I'm doing for you. In fact, our company make uh, multiple millions, okay? So uh, learn this because you can implement it on your own business as well. So uh, we have like Facebook page, we have Facebook ads and Facebook groups, right? I'm just going to use one of them as an example. So one of them is we do Facebook ads campaign so that to let more people to know about our uh, webinars and stuff. So what's going to happen is if you see uh, this is New Wave Entrepreneur, which is our, uh, our online course teaching people how can they brand themselves to be the online superstar? How can they brand themselves to be different from all the competitions out there? And, and have a very strong, unique branding and attract massive customers, a lot of loyal customers to their brands, right? So we teach people exactly how to do it. So this is our ads. So what we do is we ask our students to leave their feedback, leave their testimonials in our ads, okay? What do I mean by in our ads? Under Facebook, right, there's always this part called comment section, okay? So under comment, what we need to do is we ask our students, hey, you have uh, you have benefited so much from our three-day program. Can you just leave a uh, uh, feedback, a review, a testimonial on our ads so that more people can see it? They also feel empowered and have confidence to join. So this is exactly what we ask our students to do. And these are the feedbacks that we get. Up. So all these are positive feedback because we do deliver a lot of value, but at the same time, uh, we've, if we never ask our students, imagine you are running business, if you never ask your customers to give you reviews and feedback, then other people won't know, right? So 
always ask, right? You ask and you shall receive. And exactly, we ask our students to leave a review and then they, they, they leave it. And now a lot of more people coming to our ads, they will have the confidence to come and hear us out, come and learn from us and eventually become our students as well. So that's how it works, all right? So that's step one, okay? Ask them to leave reviews on Facebook or Facebook page whatsoever. And the second thing that you can do is, oh, you can also put them into your website or landing pages. So what does that mean is, for example, for our company, we also have a landing page. So for example, from the ad just now, right? You click the ad, you will come to our landing page, right? So everything, it's a, it's a, it's a funnel, it's a flow, yeah? So when uh, people come to our landing page, we also will display testimonials of our students because uh, we just want to have different different areas where we can uh, have social proof, right? So if you want to really check out the whole landing page, what does it look like? You can check out that, that bit.ly .ly OSE class, then you can take a reference of how are we doing it. So if funnel hack us, you can also improve your business. So basically we also display multiple testimonials, be it it's a written text with image or be it it's a video testimonial. Right, because that will give more variety and people can actually hear from our students in person if it's a video, even more powerful. So if you can record a video testimonial, even more powerful, you should definitely put it up on your internet presence, all right? So that's very important. Okay, so that is for number one, okay? Always about uh, putting up your reviews, okay? Testimonials on your social media, on your website. And the second thing that you can do to further increase your social proof, to further increase your influence, is to have authority, okay? You need to brand yourself as the expert, as a thought leader in the niche specific to your topic, specific to your business, or specific to your industry. And the reason why being an authority is so important is because, you know, like, like now, for example, let's talk about insurance agent. We got so many insurance agents. Oh, let's talk about property agent. We got so many property agents. Why do I need to buy from you? Right? Because I have so many choices, right? I never run out of choices if I want to buy insurance, right? But why do I want to buy from you? You must be someone that is different from all the other insurance agents out there. Right? So that is really about branding yourself online to be the authority. So that when people think about, hey, I want to do financial planning I, I, or, or maybe I want to buy a new house. How do I sell off my house quickly? I will come to you because you are the expert. You have been branding yourself online. You've been giving a lot of value. That's why people will come to you, right? So if you can see like, like us or like some of our students they are doing, they have been putting out so much content on the internet to show people that they are really good. In fact, they are good. But I know a lot of you guys probably watching here, you are you are thinking of online branding. You, I think even be, before you do online branding, you are already good. But just nobody know that you are good because you don't tell anyone, right? But so what you should do is you have to start branding yourself to be the authority so that people know you are good and they will come to you when they need your help, right? So for example, one of our students, uh, Dr. Tristan, he's a dentist. Can you let me know how many dentists out there are branding themselves online? Okay, especially in the local context. You can barely find anyone. So when Dr. Tristan start to do that, boom, his Facebook page life just increased like tremendously. So over the, I think the past one month or so, he got 90,000 likes on his Facebook page. Right, can you see? People are just very, very, like, they're very interested to learn all these dentist practices. How do I keep my mouth hygienic, everything? But no other dentists are sharing. So what we taught Dr. Tristan is, hey, you need to start producing content like this to gather people by creating value to them in the first place. So another of student, Emily, also the same thing. She teach Chinese. But how many Chinese tuition teachers out there actually, like, have a brand online? No, they only brand their tuition center. But tuition center, there's no human touch. And that's why people are not interested, right? But if you have a face and she is teaching cool Chinese, it's so cool, right? So if you, you're, you want your kids to be learning Chinese in a fun way, cool way, then the parents will go to cool Chinese, right? So that's exactly what our students has been doing. And we really want to encourage you to do. Start putting a lot of content online. Start giving a lot of value online 
build your authority and people, your clients will come to you. And that's why Dr. Tristan, Emily, or I don't know, whoever lah, like doing this, they receive so many inquiries every single day, even during COVID period. And that's the power of online branding when you know how to do it right. All right. So apart from like, uh, like individuals, yeah, uh, big companies out there are also using this social proof concept. For example, like McDonald's, okay, if you've been through this, been to this McDonald's before, you can see that they purposely put this over 99 billion served. Okay. So what does that mean is, wow, this McDonald's, McDonald's has served over 99 billion, actually burgers, like burgers. And you were thinking, wow, amazing. And eventually they do surpass the mark. And now they change to billions and billions served, right? So, but that is the power of number. When you have the number, people feel that you have served so many people, you can, uh, if I buy from your service, I will also benefit, right? So Canva is also doing thing, doing this, now joining over 10 million people designing on Canva. Wow, I'm not joining a random platform. I'm joining a platform where over 10 million people use it solid right so that is a power of social proof use it if you have been counting the number of uh, customers or not count number of clients that you have been serving then state it out in your website because that is a power of social proof inside all right so step three okay step three is you have to okay another way that you can increase your social proof even further is you collaborate with other influencers okay and the reason why collaborating with other influencers is important because once that influence they uh, the influencer has certain number of followers it's a it's it itself is already a social proof right if you can collaborate with someone who have a lot of followers then you can also increase your social followings in a much faster level right so a lot of times it's it's really boiling down to how many followers you have the more followers that you have definitely the number games will will kick in the momentum will will grow fa much faster as well but even though you are small at first it's okay you start to collaborate with other people and that's how you can establish your branding much much faster faster online as well so what's going to happen as you can see that hey recently i also collaborated a lot with sean uh we talk about you know like uh the behavior psychology principle and everything because i know that hey sean he has a lot follower followers like, than me right so if i collaborate with him i am leveraging on the influencer right so from there i can be able to if my content is good for firstly it must be good content right if my content is good then people will tend to really want to like and follow my page as well so that they can get more relevant content if they want to continue to improve in sales and business and everything right so and that's why you can see also other people are also collaborating with sean because uh yeah he he is indeed a very very good influencer that can amass a lot of followers right so if you cannot reach out to Sean, then you can collaborate with people around you, right? So for example, within our community, like Singing Mom, her name is Wendy. She collaborated with a lot of the students inside the community who also have the same goal of uh, reaching more people, also have the same goal of giving more value, more impact to the surrounding com community, right? So that's why she, uh, she as a mom, she collaborated with uh, a fitness expert. And from there, she gets to tap into the fitness expert's uh, social media following and the fitness expert gets to tap into her social media following and that's how they can grow much, much faster as well. So collaboration always works, okay? If you believe in the power of collaboration, please type collab, okay? If you understand the power of collaboration, right, then you really need to tap into it. And especially when you are first beginning to tap into the power of online branding, you really want to grow your following faster so that because the more people follow you the more likely other people will follow you so the only way that you can grow fast is apart from giving content is to collaborate with other people as well all right so it's very very important if you understand the power yes okay adina understand the power collab as well at work yeah i can see like a lot of you guys really really get it fantastic okay and next thing once you you, you are doing actually all these things right it's not step by step they are not like, hey, I do this, then next thing I do this. Actually, a lot of things you can combine together to, to create a holistic power 
for your social proof uh, influence, yeah. So uh, number four is you can you need to create valuable content at the end of the day, right? Be it you are talking about collaborations, uh, yeah. Be it you are talking about hey, I want to put testimonials online, everything. If you are not creating valuable content, or if your product and service is not valuable, why would people want to uh, promote about it, right? So that's why you always have to make sure that at the end of the day, you know you are selling something that can bring value to others. Right? And you know that you are giving valuable content. If you know, if you are selling some bad stuff like scam, then you are harming others. So please don't do that, okay? And we really want to make the world a better place, okay? So only sell something that you know can truly benefit other people. And then you start sharing a lot more about it, give a lot more value on the internet, right? So, and the reason why valuable content is so important is because good stuff, people will share. Right, and people just have this tendency. Hey, for example, I watched this movie. Wow, this movie very good. That like, you better go and watch it because it's good, ma. I also feel very shook sharing about it. Right, so that's why you have to make sure that you are sharing good stuff, and that's why people will also feel very good sharing your content to other people as well. Okay, and by the way. If you have been liking our content so far, if you also find that today's episode is valuable, please feel free to also share this episode out uh, with your friends on your timeline. Yeah, because uh, we really appreciate that and we really want to empower uh, more people with our valuable content as well. All right, so that will uh, create social proof for you, right? And and just by having other people to share, it also boosts your credibility because it shows that, hey, your content must be good and that's why other people are willing to share your stuff, all right? So you can see like, for example, Glenn, right? It's also one of our speaker, our team member. So you can see that he's, content is very engaging later you can check out his facebook page gave him a like also can right so glenn he has been giving a lot of value on his facebook and that's why whenever he posts something a lot of people will like or comment or share right and and people like something that it's inspirational okay so it's very important that if you can incorporate this inspirational uh theme into your your page that will be very powerful be it it's a brand or be it, it be it it's a company or be it it's your own personal brand right do something that is inspirational so what glenn likes to do is for example one simple post never give up because great things take time very simple quote right all these quotes we can find on the internet right but it's very inspiring and he posted 12,000 12, people give him a thumbs up can you see the power and like he got like close to 1,000 shares eh? can you see how powerful it is and because he keep on doing it like every single day he will post an inspiration quotes and everything and over time his followers also grow all right and now you can see that now he has like over 60,000 followers as well so this is what you can do uh, or you can consider to do for your brand page or for your own page as well all right yes glenn is super super inspiring i totally agree that okay so that is for your end you can create content right but hey do you know that you can also ask your customers to create content and if you are able to ask your customer and your client to create this content called user generated because they are your user ma. so if they are you are able to let them to create user generated content wow your brand is so so powerful trust me because if i as a user i as a customer i am willing to openly on the internet share about my my good feeling or my positive feedback towards your brand that means your brand it's a very very successful brand right do you agree so really like like the the things that you can consider is hey how can i get my clients how can i get my customers to start sharing about their thoughts about my brand on the internet right so so basically these contents are generated by your fans 
okay they are they be they are not just your customers your normal customer they become your fans already they love you so much they're willing to say good thing about you help you to promote on the internet all right or maybe take a selfie and then post it on the instagram it's the same thing okay so we are talking about everything ranging from like images to videos to like a post or review testimonials testimonials also can't right because this is them generated themselves all right so whatever that appears to be on online endorsement that is not paid by you these are all considered user generated content and it's really taking it your your whole branding to the next level because with user generated content when other people see other people's content what the trust of them having in your customers words is definitely a lot more than you talking and you bragging about yourself correct so that's why always start thinking about hey how can you create user generated content and one super powerful user generated content that cook created is this right i'm not sure whether you guys are a fan of uh having a very very unique name or be it bf or be it's your name like zach or wendy uh on the cook okay if you have purchased something like this before please type cook okay and uh, then i will know that wow you are really like into this com uh this campaign because this campaign is really really powerful it really triggers that uniquely yours right it's so unique well imagine i get this coke that has chloe on it it's not other it's not the normal coke that i get to drink on the street it's with my name right and, and some people even keep the can inside their room so that they can remember hey i do have this connection with the coke right super super powerful oh wendy drink it before and do you is that you have your name to be on the can okay some or maybe like husband or bff fantastic right so this because of this coke generated so much user generated content all these people are so happy taking pictures with a coke Okay, post it on IG, post it on Facebook. And with that, more and more people see it, more and more people become this campaign's customer. Okay, and they actively also go and dig, dig out, okay, go and look out for the name, look out, hey, I want to find, make sure I find my name on the code. Okay, and then I will post a picture. Super, super powerful, very, very, yeah, exactly, right? And people would just go and really keep it because it's so unique. It's yours, right? It's not belongs to it doesn't belong to coke it, it kind of feel like it belongs to me right so it's so so powerful once you know how to do this game right right and another thing that i i saw recently online which i thought that's wow this this company shop vision is also doing it user generated content so basically what they did is they run a contest and they are looking for live hosts. You know, nowadays, like live hosts, it's um it's so popular, right? Like we want to see, hey, how, how can we also help to promote other people's products online? And then we get a commission if we manage to sell, right? So more and more people are open to this economy. And and this shop shopper vision is also recruiting, and they want to recruit people to join their league of becoming a live host, but they cannot and randomly recruit people. They want to make sure hey, the people that they are going to recruit are legit. They do know how to speak in front of camera. They do know how to promote. So what they did, which I mean, my opinion was super smart, is they run a contest. And on top of that, they use social proof inside this contest. What they did was they say, hey, share this contest on your social media timeline. Ask your friends to give you support, give you likes and shares and everything, right? The highest people, the person with the highest uh, shares, comments and likes, right? Will, will get a prize, right? I, I didn't join the contest, but I totally believe that's how it works, right? They will probably either win a grand prize or they will be sponsored something or they really become the finalist of that, of the shopper vision, uh, uh, get get the contract with them, right? So uh, one of our students, Shannon, she's also participating in this contest, okay? Because she is very good at video editing, everything, right? And, and she basically promoted for this product at first, at first, the first time that I saw was just on her Facebook timeline. I thought it was uh, it was like she was trying to promote this eye serum. But eventually, I read deeper into it. I realized that hey, actually she is using, she is actually being like, like really like influenced by social proof. And Shopper Vision is using it to their advantage to get her to promote about Shopper Vision. 
And then this she is only one of the contestants. There are so many other contestants doing the same thing as her. And immediately, right, within a short period of time, Shopper Vision can get so much more exposure and then they can get so much likes and shares and they can also recruit so many more influencers who can who are aspiring to be an influencer, right? Can you see how powerful it is? And, and I just felt that, yeah, running a competition, it's so, so, yeah, Shannon is super amazing. <laughs> you are, she is now in number three or four. I can see, see Shannon, she really goes all out. She goes all out to get her, her post because her content is really good. If you go and watch her video later, right, it's super, super good. And then like super clever. And this company is also very clever. So start thinking like for your own company, for your own brand, what kind of contest that you can run? Because when you run contests, right, always remember to use the power of social proof. Ask the contestants to also go to ask their friends to comment, like, and share so that uh, they, in return, their friend will be supported, right? And and people just like to support friends, right? That's how, how it works, right? So, so uh, yeah, so this is the, the sharing. Do you have any questions? And for those, uh, type down the questions you have any, right? But in the meantime, for those who have not joined our the Next Level Facebook group, this is a time for you to join because every single day, okay, I am just one of the speaker. Every single day, yeah, we have like different experts speaking on different topics. Like yesterday evening, Sean and Pete, they had this grand opening of debating the stock market movement. I so funny it's such a funny episode and i also learned a lot from it you can go and watch it and then like tomorrow or the wednesday thursday like so many different amazing topics upcoming every single day so if you have not joined please go and join and there's we are just really want to provide a lot of valuable content for free so that more people can come and learn and and we form a like solid community we just keep encouraging each other to learn and keep on going right so really want to take business and investing to the next level and that's why we started this whole facebook group so please join it and you can once you join you can also watch some of the units inside that already has a lot of valuable information and content inside and on top of that you can also follow my Facebook page, okay? I'm also in the midst of really wanting to have more influence, have a stronger online branding. And I would really appreciate that if you like my content, uh, yeah, do give me a follow as well, okay? Yeah, okay, Wendy, uh, thanks for helping to uh, uh, share the link. This is the, the next level group, okay? This is the next level group. All you need to do is to click the link and uh, once you request to join, we will approve you uh, within, I, I think, 30 minutes or so. <laughs> then you can start uh, like Netflix. Like our whole concept is we want to make an educational Netflix so that people can come and on top of that, it's all free, okay? So with that, any more questions? Okay, let me go through, right? So next week, I will be actually every Tuesday, uh, 2 p.m. I will be sharing one powerful uh, psychology of sales uh, inside this show. So I hope you like it. And I really hope, most importantly, you go and implement it. Because only by implementing, then you can really see your sales, your business being transformed as well. And, and the, the same goes to all of our speakers, right? We really hope that through our content, you're going to implement, not just learn, but implement as well. Okay, so with that, I think today it was a fun show. I I hope next week Sean can come back so that I can tap into his influence and, and she can share in, in his Facebook page as well. All right, so I hope you guys had a great time. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week as well. Uh, then for tomorrow, we join the group, our business strategies, okay, Zachary, he will share with you more business hacks, okay, very, very interesting. So with that, I uh, hope everybody had fun and had a great, great evening ahead, all right? See you guys, bye-bye, bye-bye.